One Adam 12, one Adam 12. This is Adam 12. It stars Martin Milner as Officer Pete Malloy, Kent McCord as Officer Jim Reed. One Adam 12, Roger. This black and white patrol car has an overhead valve V8 engine that develops 325 horsepower at 4,800 RPMs. It accelerates from zero to 60 in seven seconds. It has a top speed of 120 miles an hour. The automobile has two shotgun racks, one attached to the bottom portion of the front seat, one in the vehicle trunk. You want me to drive? Now on MeTV Fresno, Xfinity 187. Hi, I'm John Malos, and welcome to this live edition of Connect With Me on the showroom floor on this uh, Tuesday morning. And it's a great day. You're watching us on Comcast Channel 187 and 43.6. Today we're talking about Covered California. The deadline is fast approaching. We have a guest in the studio to talk about it. 436 MeTV Option 11. Remember, my friends, do not wade through the message and also hit Option 11. And if you do call in, turn down the sound on your TV set. Remember, Call in and ask your question if you don't have health insurance. January 1st is the deadline. Back in just a moment. We're back here live on the showroom floor at Ventura TV. Of course, Covered California is our main topic today. 436 MeTV Option 11. We've got an expert in the house today to talk about what is going on. It's so confusing because there's so many deadlines. First of all, if you want coverage by January the 1st, okay, there's a deadline when you have to enroll, and that deadline is fast approaching. It's December the 23rd. Now, you also have until March the 31st to enroll. They extended that deadline. But for those who wait that long, you're not going to have health coverage come first of the year between January the 1st and March the 31st. So if you have a doctor's appointment, an operation that's scheduled, hey, you might be out of luck. Let's go to the videotape. I'll show you what I'm talking about. It's the Covered California website. And so far, it is, well, it's had far fewer problems than its counterpart on the national uh, level to date. Nearly 160,000 people have signed up for health coverage right here in California for the first two months, as opposed to only 107,000 nationally on the national website. You're looking at the Covered California website right there. Question is, will there be enough people signing up for the exchange to keep this thing going? Only 14% of those who bought health insurance earned too much to qualify for a government subsidy, but that group makes up more than half of the five million people across the state looking to buy insurance. So far, Anthem Blue Cross leads the way with about 32,000 signups. Blue Shield of California is next at 30,000, followed by Kaiser at 26,000. As mentioned, there have been some problems with the website. We'll outline some of them and talk to our expert. Uh, we're gonna give you a phone number that you can call, as I said, that December 23rd deadline fast approaching that's next monday by the way live in our studio right now is lizelda lopez who is here on behalf of covered california she's the senior vp at ogilvy public relations out of sacramento she's here to answer any and all questions that you have 436 me tv option 11 don't wait through the message and remember if you do call in and you want to ask a question about this deadline or about health coverage You've got to turn down the sound on your TV set so we can hear you. We're back with our program here on Comcast 187 and 43.6 in just a momento. Stay tuned. Frigidaire. We introduce the first home freezer. The first pulsator agitator washer. And now we introduce the Frigidaire Orbit Clean Dishwasher, designed with a unique wash arm that gives you four times more water coverage for a consistently better clean. Frigidaire, over 90 years of legendary innovation. See the full line of Frigidaire appliances at Ventura TV Electronics and Appliances. Back here live on the showroom floor, of course, at Ventura TV on this Tuesday morning. Usually we focus uh, on business on this uh, on every Tuesday, 
But today we're talking about health coverage because the deadline is fast approaching December the 23rd. If you want to be covered by January 1st, my guest today is Lizelda Lopez from Ogilvy Public Relations out of Sacramento. Spokes what are you, the senior VP there over there? I'm a, cover, a covered California spokesperson. Okay, but you work for Ogilvy though, right? I do. Public mm -hmm. Relations, okay. Mm -hmm. All right, so this deadline fast approaching. Let me put up a graphic on the screen before I ask you the first question. Here's what you have to do if you want to qualify for a government subsidy. Here are the qualifications to qualify for that. You got to be making about 46 grand or less for an individual. Now these are rough estimates now. It's not to the penny and roughly 94,000 or less for a family of 4. Nearly 160,000 have signed up for the health coverage uh, for the first two months uh, October and November. Of course, we're well into December now. And so are people, Lizelda, I guess the first question is, are people still having problems with the website freezing? Because that was the one big problem is that, you know, whether it's an agent or an individual going on the website, on the computer, it would freeze and then kick them out. Mm -hmm. Well, we know we have a lot of demand. Um, we, in, uh, Peter Lee, the executive director for Covered California, mentioned um, at a press conference that in one day in December, we had 14,000 applications. So we know that that slows down the website a bit. That makes the, call, the service center a little bit uh, time consuming. So people are having to wait a little bit longer than they would have liked on the phone. Um, we do have community organizations that are helping us enroll people on the ground, okay. as well as in, uh, uh, insurance well, agents that are, are part of our family. Let me take this call real quick. Good morning. You're on the air. Hi. Hi. Um, I have a quick question. Um, yeah. I've been trying to get insurance um, on the Covered California, but my problem is, is that my husband's covered with his employer. My son is covered with Healthy Families um, Medi-Cal, and it's trying to force me to apply for them. I'm the only one that's um, not employed and also um, can't get insurance. So I'm kind of stuck in this limbo where if I apply for, because it's trying to force me to apply for both of them where I don't want to. The way that the website works is actually um, when you are putting in information that it does need to know the household composition. So it'll ask you for how many people are in the household. But at the point of making a decision about purchasing, you just say one. Um, you change the, the so that you can say the household income and then you can just say just one person is, is seeking coverage and the website should be able to recognize that. If you have a problem, try uh, our service center. If, 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 I, if you find it that's a little bit slow, we have information about community yeah. organizations that I'll pass along here uh, so you can call one of these community organizations that can help you fill out the application. That's the number right there up on the screen. 1-855-857-0445. Right. Do you have any other questions, ma'am? Um, other than I can't get through to anyone, when I do call those numbers, it's always busy or it's, you know, um, I'll just keep trying to get through and see if that works for me. Because obviously I do want to be covered before the first. <laughs> right, so, right. Well, did you see Did you see the number up on the screen there? 855-857-0445. There's about a 36-minute wait on average. Oh, okay. Most of the time it just puts, it tells me that I can't get through, that there's too many people waiting. So. Right. Yeah, the other option, as I was mentioning to you, and I'll leave the information here, and they, if you'd like to post it on your website or, or whatever is convenient, is community organizations and insurance agents that can help you fill out the application uh, and answer all of your questions, and then they can submit the application on time. Okay, perfect. Thank you. No problem. Okay, thank you. So we were talking before the phone call about the, the, the website freezing. Is it still doing that? It does. Occasion? It does. Um, we know that we have to add bandwidth. Um, we we are anticipating heavy demand, so we have been working very hard with our our partner uh, that that manages the website to make sure that we're adding more bandwidth. Um, we're also working to make sure we're adding more service, uh, customer service representatives. Again, we are relying um, heavily on our local community partners, uh, including insurance agents, to help us uh, through this important deadline. So we know we are asking for, uh, for people to be very, very patient, and we appreciate it very much. Okay, but there, being patient is one thing, but there is a deadline if you want to be covered by the first. Uh, if people can't get on to uh, enroll via online, mm -hmm. then you've got these hard copy applications and you know a lot of people even 
uh, insurance uh, uh, agents are having a hard time getting through. So if you mm -hmm. have to fill out a hard copy applications, um, are you gonna are you gonna be able to guarantee that 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 hard copy application is gonna be processed in time for that person to be covered? Yes. So if you submit your paper application or or your or your application by December twenty third in whatever form, so either online or over the phone, which actually the cons customer service representatives would submit your application for you um, online or a paper application, then Covered California is committing for you to have coverage beginning January 1. You do have to make your payment by January 6, not postmark. You have to make that payment by January 6 in order for that coverage to work. Okay. See, I'd never heard that January 6 deadline mm -hmm. to, for payment. Mm -hmm. How does something like that get lost in the shelf? Because I haven't read that anywhere. I haven't heard that. Any You're the mm -hmm. first person I've heard it from. Mm -hmm. It was Where did that come from, sure. that it was January 6 deadline? It was a topic of discussion at um, last month's board meeting. Okay. As you know, the, the Board of Covered California is made up of five individuals, two um, by the by, uh, nominated by the governor and two by the legislature and one is the health and human services secretary they right. had that discussion about what to do the original deadline was december 26th um, the feds then uh, said you could extend it and they extended it to january 6th which is mm -hmm. a monday this is the first time i've heard january 6th but it, it was december 26th mm -hmm. so so let me ask you there was a big article that i printed out on the fresno b uh, you may have read it it was a big sunday feature right on the front page talking about all the problems uh, you and I had a little disagreement before this show started about getting these applications processed. How can you guarantee, when the Fresno Bee said that there are more than 20,000 hard copy applications that are backlogged, how can you guarantee that, Lizelda? People are working 24 hours, literally. So you can come back here January 2nd and tell me that they've all been processed. That is the commitment we are making from Covered California. If we have a, you know, a an asteroid hit Calvary, California, then I'll come back and tell you, sorry, we didn't make our deadline. But that's what we're commitment, that's the commitment we're making. I know it's a heavy lift, and I appreciate people underst understanding that we're doing the best that we can, and seriously, we are working 24 hours a day. Okay, I'm going to call you January 2nd and see if that's, that's, a, that's a done deal. Call me the 24th. I'll call you on the 24th, <laughs> okay? Good morning, you're on Connect With Me. Your question, please. Yeah, um, hi. Um, how does this pertain to the homeless? I mean, I have a, a family member that's homeless. Um, I'm trying to convince him that this is a way for him to get insurance for himself. Does, does it pertain to him, or, does it, or is it just for people that are working, or does he have to go to social services? You know, he prefers to be homeless, but I'm trying to get him some insurance today, you know. It sounds to me like you, uh, the person that you mentioned uh, is more than likely qualifies for the Medi-Cal program. And the Medi-Cal program is a low cost or no cost, in most instance, instances, insurance through the state of California. Um, if he makes less than $15,000 a year, which if he's homeless, more than likely that is the case, he would qualify for the Medi-Cal program. And he can enroll through us. He also can go to the County Human Services Agency and they will sign him up. Okay, thank you for the call. I appreciate it. We got another call coming in, right? Another call coming in, guys? Yep, I think so. Let's take it. Good morning. You're on Connect with me. What's your question? Yes, uh, my question is I've been listening uh, to your conversation, and uh, one of the things I see is that the people like you have been doing nothing but figuring out what's wrong with it. Um, I'd like to have you ask some questions about some of the good things that's going on. You know, one of the big problems is that people don't have insurance. And at least this is making an attempt. And I think with all the negativity uh, questions and uh, the statements, is really hurting those chances. Uh, my question is, what are some of the good things that are happening? And that's my question to either one of you. Well, that's a wonderful question. I mean, the good things that are happening is that we are seeing enrollments, and as the federal government announced recently, um, the numbers in California are, are fantastic. Um, we do know that we have work to do, and we are committed to getting that work done. As I was saying, we are working 24-7 on a whole lot of different things. We want to make sure, as you mentioned, that people have the health insurance that they so desperately need. Um, we don't want people to go bankrupt, to lose their homes, and to end up having to pay their emergency bills for the rest of their lives. That is what we're trying to avoid, and that's why we consider the December 23rd such a critical deadline. Yeah, but 
you, we can't bury our head in the sand either and sure. say that there are no problems. No, I because, totally agree. Because there are problems. People are having a hard time getting on uh, online to to enroll in Covered California. Mm -hmm. They're having to fill out these hard copy applications, which are what, like 36 pages long? With a whole lot of pages of those are just answers to questions that people may have. So, for example, right, but it's time consuming. You got to sit there and fill it out. You got to read sure. each question. Well, and you all have that to stuff. understand that healthcare is a complicated issue. And you're also having to choose a plan, a right. plan that ha that fits your personal c circumstances. So you have to decide what insurance company is best for you. Right. What what tier of, of plan do you want? Do you want one that you pay a little bit less on premiums, but you pay more out of pocket or the other way around? It really depends on your health situation. What about the health situation of your husband, your kids, etc.? All of that has to come into play. So all of those are difficult questions. Uh, it's not like buying a pair of shoes on Nordstrom's, which I do often. It's just that's the bottom line. Healthcare is a complicated topic, and we get it. And that that's it's why we have to treat it like that, especially on this program, and tell people sure. what some of the problems are. And imagine the people that have to sit there through that 36-page questionnaire and enter all of the information electronically. That's very time-consuming. That's why sure. I, I hesitate to say, okay, you're going to have it done by January 1st. I'll take your word for it, but <laughs> I'll see it when I believe it. Well, the, the application, like I was saying, is not 36 pages. The, the, the vast but the information still has to be entered. And it's time-consuming to sit there on a keyboard and do that. The, the, ba the vast majority of the pages are question and answers. We want to be, be able to right. answer questions for people that they can read on that paper application. For example, income. What? What? Where right. do you fall in it's the income time bracket? It's time-consuming to enter that information. Is Another sure? call here on Connect With Me. Good morning. What's your question? Uh, yes, my question is, they're talking about uh, Obamacare right now. Yeah. My question is, if you have no income or you're uh, practically uh, a transient, why would they fine you if you can't possibly get insurance? You can through Medi-Cal, which is a no-cost uh, health insurance program. Uh, through, through You can get covered through the uh, social services agency in your county. Um, if your income is less than $15,000 a year, um, then that, that health insurance is available to you. In the past, before the Affordable Care Act, Medi-Cal uh, had more restrictions than just income. So if you were a single adult, for example, you did not qualify automatically, regardless of your income. That has changed. So the only real uh, reason to be denied Medi-Cal is because your income is too high. And in those cases, you come to us at Covered California, and you would qualify for um, financial assistance through in the form of premium assistance, basically. All right, we're talking with Lizelda Lopez, uh, talking about Covered California. We're going to be back, 436 Me TV Option 11. Remember, turn down the sound on your TV set if you happen to call in. Back with our show in a moment. Now, why don't you tell us the whole story right from the beginning? All right. From the beginning, this is the city, Los Angeles, California. My name's Friday. I carry a badge. Police officers. You any idea who the other man was? My partner's Bill Gannon. Program? We got just one big question. Yeah, when? Now on Me TV Fresno, Xfinity 187. We're back here on the show talking about health care covered at California. Okay, so what do you do when you, you log on and you get kicked off the system? You just keep trying? If, if that doesn't work and you get frustrated, try it at different times of the day. We found, we have When's found the best time of the day to log on? Don't Jeez. tell me 3 o'clock in the morning. No, I, I was going to say I have no idea. Um, you know, in, on October 1, when I was playing around with the system, my sister actually was enrolling as well. Okay. Um, it was working just fine. I think the demand has really slowed it down. So try it at different times of the day. If you get really frustrated, obviously, try giving us a call. If that's also not, not where you want right. to where you want to spend your time, try one of the community I think those, those are the two frustrations. Yeah. Is the system freezing, not being able to enroll, having to fill out this long paper thing, and then trying to call somebody on the phone and you still can't get through, and this deadline is fast approaching. So I think those are the two major stumbling blocks. Mm -hmm. Would you agree with that? I think people might get frustrated if they feel like they're they're having to wait a bit, bit longer. We are we are as a society a, 
pretty spoiled. Our websites go fast, right? We load in less well, than half a second. You have. It depends on what I mean, can you <laughs> see the frustration on some people? You know, you can't get through online, you can't get through on the phone. Once you get through on the phone, maybe your questions are not answered and they Although your questions would be answered. They will. Yeah. But they won't help but they can't help you enroll online, right? You have to do that. I mean by calling they can't help you enroll. You have to do that online or hard copy, right? No. They would help you enroll. So the they way would. right. So if so you So when you get when you call up, let's say I call on my cell phone today and I want to enroll, mm -hmm. they can walk me through yep. the internet. Yes. They can the website. Yes. Okay. That's so, good. Yeah, so th those are the three options. Again, the reason, uh, so you can sign up on your own through the website. You can sign up through the service center. So a customer service representative would right. ask you all the questions and input the information onto the CalHear system, to the enrollment system. Um, the other way is to do it through community organizations in a paper application. So th okay. those are the three And go through options. the licensed agent. How do you find a licensed agent? We have them on our website. If you go to CoveredCA.com, there is at the front and center of the, uh, of the website, it says find help near you. Okay. And it will take you to a page where you can find certified enrollment counselors, you can find uh, certified insurance agents, or you can find your nearest uh, social services agency for, through the county. Some people in their 20s and 30s are going to say, you know what? I'm healthy as a horse. I don't need health insurance. I'm not going to pay those guys. I'm not going to pay anybody. I'll just take the $100 fine at the end of the year. I don't care. It's not $100. No, oh, whatever it is. It's it's what is it then? 95 or 1% of your income. So, if okay. you make $30,000, it's $300. However, if you end up getting into an accident, guess what? You're going to be in a world of hurt. Good advice. I agree with you. However, that's not going to discourage people, a lot of people. So if that happens and you get enough people not going into the system, mm -hmm. it won't be it won't be sustained financially. It mm -hmm. won't hold up. Well, and we won't know that uh, until when? What over the course of time? So so right now through October and November, the enrollment numbers that you were mentioning earlier today, we have those are rough figures. They're sure, not exact. Sure. But but we have the the math that we have been doing shows that we are having enough young people sign up, with actually commensurate to the their numbers in the population. So that's a very good thing. We see we see that this is working. People are enrolling. Let me take this call, phone call here. Good morning, caller. You're on the air. Yes, I have a question. My for that uh, California insurance. What about the people who are incarcerated and they get out past the deadline? Cause my husband is incarcerated, but he won't get out till April the twentieth. So how can he get the insurance? I'm sorry, I didn't know. I, I lost you there. I'm sorry. What's the I question? I said, I have a question. What about the, the, the men and women who are incarcerated and they will get out past the deadline? How do they get the insurance without being penalized? Oh, I see what you're saying. Okay, did you get that? You have to go past the deadline. Oh. How are you going to get insurance if you go past the deadline? Because the deadline is December 23rd, but you have until March 31st, 2014 to enroll. Right. So if you miss the March 31st deadline, you will have to wait until October of 2014 to um, sign up through Covered California. If you have a child. Wait, uh, wait a minute. Wait a minute. Back up. Say that again. Hold on just a sec. Let me finish it because okay. it's important for me to mention this. <laughs> if, if, if you have a, a life changing event. So, for example, you change jobs and your job and your new job no longer uh, offers insurance. Okay. Then we, we consider that special enrollment and you can come in and purchase in okay. special enrollment. That could be any time of the year. But if you miss but the March you, 31st deadline, then what happens? You have to wait until October of 2014 when open enrollment opens again. So you're you're not covered until then. You're not covered until then. You, so you could so be in in deep oh, trouble. You have to go to the hospital. Don't you be penalized in the process? No, you don't get penalized if you go to the hospital. You'll end up paying you'll those bills for the rest the of your life. Yeah, you'll end up paying <laughs> that bill for the rest of your life probably. And oh, then you'll okay. be penalized at the end of the year on your taxes or whatever. Mm -hmm. Whatever that bill is. I don't mm -hmm. know. 95 bucks, 300 bucks, whatever it is. Um, so does that answer you, your question? No, I don't. <laughs> because you said that if you have, if you're working and you lose your insurance, then I have to wait till October. I said, but he get out, he don't have no insurance. For those men and women who are incarcerated for whatever reason. Oh, incarcerated. And they cannot get the insurance. When they get gotcha. out of the deadline pass. When they get out of jail I and right. pass the deadline. I apologize. Right. I did not understand your question. I apologize. Okay. Here is the yeah. answer. If you were, if you are currently incarcerated, um, you do not, you have insurance, you have basically medical care in jail. 
once you get out of jail, then that is considered special enrollment, and then you can enroll as soon as you come gotcha. out of gotcha. right. Okay. Just like if you have a okay. child, et cetera, et cetera. So under special circumstances, special enrollment, uh, if he gets out past the deadline, no problem. Exactly. Okay. All right. Got to take a break. Got what is the number that could call in? Because I don't have no computer. What is the number I could call in to okay. apply we'll, for we'll put, we'll put the number on the screen. Go to your TV set. We'll put it up on the screen. It's I'm right looking there. at you now. Okay. We're going to have to go because we're short on time. I don't want to get cut off. There's the okay. number right there. 1-855-857-0445. The wait time, roughly 36 minutes, or you could get in before or after. Who knows? Just call a number and find out. I mean, I can't do anything but tell you the number. <laughs> anyway, 436-MeTV, option 11 is our number here. Back in a moment. When you like Ventura TV Appliance on Facebook, it's nice. But when you love the Samsung big screen we deliver, it's even better. Our website is cool, and it's a good place to start. But you really should touch the merchandise before you buy. Time for that upgrade to an HD 3D web-enabled Samsung TV. Get the best selection, price, and service in town without waiting. Come in to Ventura TV Appliance and touch the merchandise today. Talking about covered California, and you know, I'm sorry we don't have an hour today. We should have an hour on this show, but uh, you know, we just can't. We just can't do it. The last time we talked about this uh, health coverage uh, thing, we had like 16 calls. Not so many today, but it's a hot topic still for a lot of people. Good. And I just want to mention, you and I got into a little riff here uh, off the air before you were ready to walk you were, off. You were listening to you me. Were That's listening why. To me, but I'm glad you <laughs> stayed. I'm glad you stayed. You're a very pleasant person. And, well, well, the dispute was, I do. I just fail to understand how you're going to process all of those it's hard copy applications by January the 1st, the ones who enroll by December the 23rd. I can't process that in my mind. I can't wrap my brain around that. It's mind-boggling. I understand. Um, we, I've had these conversations I covered California almost every day because really? I, I hear Hated you. Heated conversations? <laughs> Come on. Uh, I, Come on. I, I, they, they tell me every day that they are committed to making sure that if you submit an application in whatever form on December 23rd, you are covered January 1. Your answer I, ought to be, your, you know what your answer ought to be? Your answer ought to be, I will believe it when I see <laughs> it, when I see it with those two eyes of mine. But anyway, I'm glad you stayed. You're a very pleasant lady, Thank very you. pleasant person. And we appreciate you answering all the questions. So what about the, you know, look, I, I, I mean, I got to mention this. I mean, I, can, I don't, listen, I don't want you to think I'm always negative, but let's put the phone number up on the screen again so people can see it while we're talking here. Put, put the number up because that, that is important. We've only put it up a couple of times. Like, for example, the article in the B said that um, what happens if you're, you, 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 you go online and you get an estimate mm -hmm. of, say, you're going to pay 200 bucks a month, mm -hmm. and then you pick a plan, the silver plan, this plan, that plan, and then all of a sudden it comes out to like three or $400 a month. How is there such a disparity wow. between the two mm -hmm. prices? That can happen. Um, I would have to figure out what's going on there. This is not something that I've heard before as an okay. issue. Um, I, I, I would imagine I've that... I've heard it with a couple of people before. They go on, uh -huh. they get an estimate, uh, it's going to be 200 I, I don't know that that's an exact figure. Mm -hmm. Then they go sign up for the plan, and it's like, what? That wasn't the, the, the estimate that I was given. It's much more. I wonder if, there, if the income um, verification showed a different number. Maybe um, they're not getting a, a big enough tax break. Is that why? Or? Maybe, maybe the income that they sh they they put in initially, then when it was verified through IRS, IRS to see if that income made sense, it showed a different income, and so it gives a different price. Um, I'm I'm happy to look into it. And I'll get back to you. Okay. Um, what can people do? Just quickly, we got less than a minute left. What can people do? The best thing they can do to sign up, in your opinion, online or hard copy. Try online. If you get frustrated, give us a call. If you if you don't want to wait 36 minutes, as you had mentioned, uh, I will leave some uh, information with you of community organizations that can help them sign up in person and insurance agents that can help them sign up as well. Okay. Let's uh, put up that phone number one more time. And uh, we do have a call, but we can't take it. We're out of time. Um, but we appreciate you being here. 1-855-857-0445. Uh, the average wait time is going to be whatever it is and whatever time of day you call. You're going to be open this Sunday too, right? Yes, we the are. call center. We are. Okay, so call that number. Lizelda, I'm so glad you stayed. And Thank I'm so you. glad you came on to answer some questions for us. I appreciate no you being here. All right, that's going to do it for us today here on Connect With Me on MeTV Fresno, Comcast 187 and 43.6. We're back tomorrow with another show Connect with me on Me TV Fresno.
for Whirlpool innovation and quality. Who has the answers, the selection, the price? Ventura TV Appliance. With billions in nationwide appliance buying power, more than Home Depot and Best Buy combined, we'll help you save. Our low prices on Energy Star qualified Whirlpool appliances save you energy and money and pay no interest on select models when paid in full within 12 months. Ventura TV Appliance, serving you since 1951.